in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, I have the pleasure to welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration. Today, the 8th of August, the Catholic Church all over the world celebrates the memorial of Saint Dominic, priest. We offer this mass in a special way for all your intentions for the intentions of all of you gathered here, that God will meet each and every one of us at our point of need. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May Saint Dominic come to the help of your church by his merits and teaching, O Lord, and may he who was an astounding preacher of fear truth, be a devoted intercessor on our behalf. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. or philosophy, but simply to tell you what God had guaranteed. During my stay with you, the only knowledge I claimed to have was about Jesus and only about him as the crucified Christ. Far from relying on any power of my own, I came among you in great fear and trembling, and in my speeches and the sermons that I gave, there were none of the arguments that belonged to philosophy, only a demonstration of the power of the spirit. And I did this so that your faith should not depend on human philosophy, but on the power of God. But still, we have the wisdom to offer those who have reached maturity, not a philosophy of our age. It is true, still less of the masters of our age, which are coming to their end. The hidden wisdom of God which we teach in our mysteries is the wisdom that God predestined to be for our glory before the ages began. It is a wisdom that none of the masters of this age have ever known, or would they not have crucified the Lord of glory. We teach what, Christ, what scripture calls the things that no eye has seen and no ear has heard things beyond the mind of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. These are the very things that God has revealed to us through the Spirit. This is the word of God. Nice um, proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth, O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all Proclaim his help day by day, tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the peoples. 
Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Proclaim to the nations, God is king, the world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Proclaim the wonders of the Lord among all the Gospel explanation. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus and his disciples traveled along, they met a man on the road who said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered, Foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another to whom he said, Follow me, replied, Let me go and bury my father first. But he answered, leave the dead to bury their dead. Your duty is to go and spread the news of the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, sir, but first let me go and say goodbye to my people at home. Jesus said to him, once the hand is laid on the plow, no one who looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, on this eighth day of August, we have gathered today to celebrate the memorial of a saint that dedicated his life in the spreading of the gospel. And thanks be to God, in the readings of today, especially in the gospel of today, our Lord Jesus Christ gives us an invitation, the invitation to discipleship. Jesus Christ invites each and every one of us to be his disciples. Jesus wants us to, to follow him, to be his disciples, to help in the, in the spreading of the gospel of salvation. The mission that Jesus Christ presents to each and every one of us in the gospel of today is the mission of spreading the, the gospel of salvation. Spreading the gospel of salvation, as we are told in the uh, first reading of today, the, 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 the writer of the first reading tells us of what no eye has seen, what no ear has had, that that is what God has prepared for those who hope in him. That God has prepared a special place for us in, in his kingdom and Jesus Christ gives us an invitation to help him in the work of spreading the gospel of salvation to all the ends of the of the earth. And thanks be to God, today we celebrate the, the feast of Saint Dominic. Saint Dominic was born in Spain and was ordained a priest. And when he became a priest, he studied theology and became a doctor of theology. And Dominic used his intelligence in the spreading of the gospel. He used his intelligence in the defense of the church, in the defense of truth, and in the defense of the gospel of salvation. He helped in fighting against heresies that came up during his time. And he was able to gather a group of people to himself, and they formed a group known as the Dominicans, the Order of Preachers. And today we remember Dominic in a special way 
for the great service he did to the church, for the sacrifice he did, for sacrificing his life and using his intelligence in the spread of the gospel. And today, Jesus Christ calls each and every one of us to continue the work of spreading the gospel. The work of spreading the gospel is not only the responsibility of the priest and religious, it's for each and every one of us. Jesus Christ calls each and every one of us to, to salvation. Jesus Christ calls us to uh, assist in the, in the spread of the gospel of salvation to the ends of the world. We, we live in a world today where people have a little interest for the kingdom of God. We live in a world that science and technology has transformed the world and has made the world a, 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 a heaven, a, a miniature heaven. The world we live in is endowed with a lot of good things and science and technology have helped in transforming our world. And we have at our beck and call many good things, many good things that have been given to us through science and technology. And sometimes some people feel that there is no need to talk about eternity. Some people are satisfied with the, with the joys of the presence. Some people are satisfied with the comfort of this time. Some people are satisfied with the good things we enjoy in the world. But the, St. Paul tells us in the first reading of today that God has prepared for, for us a place that is better than the good things we enjoy here on earth. That God has prepared for us a special place. And that this place that God has prepared for us is a place God has prepared for us a, a good things that no eye has seen, no ear has, uh, has had the good things that God has prepared for us. If the good things we, we enjoy here on earth should not be a stumbling block for us to achieve that salvation that is our destination. God has a mission of salvation to each and every one of us. God wants us to be saved. God wants to, us to enjoy heaven after our earthly existence. The things we enjoy, the good things we enjoy, the, the good things that science and technology has made possible for us to enjoy should be stepping stones, should help us to prepare us for that higher joy that God prepares for us in heaven. All of us are candidates of heaven. We have to spread the gospel of salvation. We have to call our brothers and sisters not to allow the joys of this world to lead them, lead them astray. The things and the comfort of this world should not be a stumbling block on our way to realizing that eternal happiness God has prepared for each and every one of us. God has prepared a, a greater happiness for us. We have to make effort to be a, a qualified to enjoy that happiness God has prepared for us. We have to make effort to live a good life. We have to make effort to live according to the teachings of the church. We have to make effort to live according to the dictates of the gospel in order to be, to be uh, qualified to enjoy that beautiful vision God has prepared for each and every one of us. We have gathered from all over the world. We have come here from all over the world. We, we left the comforts of our homes. We left the comfort of our countries and we came to Fatima. Why? Because we have come to seek the face of God. We have come to seek the face of God through our blessed mother, Virgin Mary. Because we have realized that a, a, there is a limit to the joys that this world can give us. We have realized that despite the comfort of this world, there is still something that is, is lacking in us that can only be fed by God. There is still a lack in us despite the comfort and the good things we enjoy. Something is still lacking in our life. Some people have come here because they have come to, to uh, uh, find peace with God. Some people have come here because they have come to find peace with themselves. Some people have come here because they have uh, come to, to uh, uh, seek for pardon and for conversion. Some people have come here because they have come to ask for one favor or the other from God. We are in the right place. There, are, there is something that is lacking in our lives that can only be filled with, by God. There is something that is lacking in our lives, no matter what we have, no matter what we own, no matter the enjoyments that we have. Something is still lacking in our lives that can only be fed uh, uh, by God. That is why 
we, we are here, my brothers and sisters, in order that God may feel that lack in our life. We have to ask ourselves, what is lacking in your life? What is that thing that is lacking in your life? Is it conversion? Is it happiness? Is it joy? Is it peace? Are you sick? Have you problems, family problems? Have you marital problems? What is the problem that is confronting you that made you to leave the, 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 the uh, uh, comfort of your home to come to Fatima? We have come here not only to uh, find peace, but we have come here to find salvation. We have come here because we have come to, find, to seek the face of God. We have come here because we have come to seek salvation. We pray God in this Mass to help all of us in our various needs. Now that we have come here to seek salvation, now that we have come here to know God better, we ask God to enlighten the eyes of our minds. May our aspirations and our intentions win favor in, in God's sight. Whatever reason that made you to come here, may God help you to realize the, the dreams that brought you here. If you have come here to uh, uh, find a, a, a peace of, of mind and, and peace in your family, may God grant your intentions and may God grant your aspirations. May God help you to fulfill that lack in your life. And also may God help all of us to live a life worthy of our vocation so that on the last day, all of us, just like St. Dominic, will be qualified to enjoy the beatific vision through Christ our Lord. Prayer of the faithful. My dear brothers and sisters, here at this sacred spot where the most holy Virgin Mary appeared, let us present our prayers to God our Father who gave us the mother of his son to be our mother. For the faithful, that by obeying the abuse of Mary, in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who exercise sacred mysteries in the church, that they may be attentive to the word of God, love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm, as Mary did, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. For those who govern the nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously collaborate in the justice distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world, we pray to the Lord. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all of us here present, and for our families, for our nation, Portugal, and for Fatima, that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear God of infinite goodness, attentive to the supp supplication of your people, and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, to help us to our pleas and increase our faith. We ask this through Christ, Christ your Son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Bless you, Lord God, for creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. May it become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. May it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Attend mercifully to the prayers we offer you, O Lord, by the intercession of Saint Dominic, and through the great power of this sacrifice, strengthened by the protection of your grace, those who champion the faith, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hands. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your sins. And in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example by communion with them, you give us, you give us companionship. By their intercession, show support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with the angels and archangels, and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we are clean. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of, full of glory. your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he. You are indeed holy, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim the dead, name your death, the Lord, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all your saints, St. Francisco and Jacinta Matus, who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, God Almighty Father, Father, in the, the unity of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven. hallowed hallow be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as, 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 as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, we, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, lead us not into temptation, into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your church, O oh Lord, receive with wholehearted reverence the power of this heavenly sacrament by which we have been nourished on the commemoration of Saint Dominic. And may your church, having flourished by means of his preaching, be helped through his intercession. We make our prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please, may we bless the religious objects. You can raise them up for blessing. Our helps in the name of the Lord. Amen. Almighty and ever living God, we, we beg you to bless these religious objects that has been brought forth by your children as an aid in their journey of faith. Bless them and make them holy and also make them uh, sources of blessings and protection for your people. Wherever they are kept, may your people continue to be protected from the attacks of the devil and his agents and may all their aspirations be granted and whenever they use them for prayers, may their prayers rise before you like incense. May these objects help them to worship you in spirit and in truth to obtain your favors and your blessings and your salvation after their earthly journey. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may, your spirit. and may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and be with you both now and forever. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Amen.